Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of JoeyBaking.com. Today we're going to make a strawberry compote or stewed strawberries and this is what it looks like. This is simply a cooked mixture of fresh strawberries and sugar and as you can see we have beautiful chunks of sweet strawberries and the, the juices are thick and syrupy. So really easy to make. You will need a, a medium-sized saucepan. Now I'm using two pounds, 900 grams of fresh strawberries. Now you could scale this recipe up or down depending on your, how many strawberries you have. So what you wanna do is of course wash your strawberries first and then cut off the top. If there is any white parts on your strawberry, cut that off as well. And then you want large chunks. We're not making a sauce. So when it cooks down, we want to have some chunks. So I like to leave my strawberries fairly large, like so. And then just, I put, I did most of them ahead of time, just put them in your saucepan. I'm not adding any water because strawberries have a lot of moisture in them and as they cook down they're going to release a lot of water so we don't need any. And then always taste your fruit, you know, because you never know. If it's really sweet, you don't need as much sugar. If they're a little tart, you need a little more. So I find if your strawberries are quite sweet, I'm at, you add about maybe a third of a cup, 65 grams of granulated white sugar. If they're a little more, you know, not as sweet, you could add like a half a cup, uh, 100 grams of granulated white sugar. So now what I'm gonna do is just put this over medium heat and stir occasionally what's going to happen is the strawberries are going to start to release the moisture, the sugar is going to dissolve and what we want to do is bring this up just to a boil. So our mixture has come up to a boil and as you can see the strawberries have really released their water. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low. You want it to just be at a simmer. And we're going to cook this probably 10 to 15 minutes. What we want is the strawberries become nice and soft. We don't want them like to disintegrate because this isn't a sauce, it's a compo. So we want pieces of strawberry and we want the juices to become nice and thick and syrupy. So 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so our compo is done. Take it off the heat. I don't know whether I said, but periodically as this is cooking, just give it a good stir. So now there's various things you can do to flavor your strawberry compo. I like to put in about a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I think that the citrus really, you know, brings out the flavor of the strawberries. You could flavor it with uh, like the seeds from a vanilla bean, uh, spices such as ground cinnamon, some rose water, even a little bit of liqueur. So there's lots of different things. You can serve this warm or cold. It, it will store, you know, really well in the refrigerator, probably about 10 to 14 days. So it's something you can make ahead. So now, what I've done here is give you some ideas. What can I do with my strawberry compo? You can go to the joybaking.com website and I do have a strawberry chiffon shortcake where I've taken two layers of chiffon cake and I've sandwiched them together with the uh, strawberry compo and whipped cream and also put it on top. You could, for a really simple, easy dessert, you could just take some ice cream. I have vanilla here. I'm just going to move that a little hot with steam um, and put it right over the top. This is one of our favorite desserts. It's so easy and it's so good, like a little strawberry sundae. Let everybody choose as much as they want. You could make, whip some cream or even if you had a custard and you could add some of your compo and then just fold it in. And what this is, is a fruit fool. So 
That's a really nice light dessert. And just put it right in the bowl here. And then you could, what I often do is have the uh, compost serve it so that if people want, put a little more on top like so. If you have some scones or scones, you could put some Devon cream. Very good. Put that on there and then a little of the compo. You can make a strawberry shortcake and instead of the Devon cream, put whipped cream. If you like yogurt for breakfast, take some plain yogurt and just stir in some of the compos. So you don't have to buy flavored yogurt. If you always have, I always have plain yogurt in the house and just stir that in. Very nice on toast instead of like a strawberry jam. You could use the compo. And in the summer, a really nice refreshing drink. I put some ice in a glass and then I'm going to put, now I'm going to put say, I'm like a third of a cup, 80 mils in there. Although you can just do as much as you want. You have the ice, you have that. And then I'm using just some sparkling water. Maybe like a half a cup, 120 mils, but again, really, who's measuring? Just put that in there. And then I put a <laughs> little scoop of vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, very good. Or you can make it like a cream soda and put some cream in there. And that is, I think that's too cool. So I'm just gonna try a little of this. I mean, really, sometimes I just put a little bit in a bowl and just eat it. You know what? It really tastes of strawberries. And they're nice and soft, but not mushy. And then, you know, the syrup is so nice and thick. So here's some ideas. I'm sure you're going to find a lot more ideas of what to do with your strawberry compo. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.